but the peace of the living God be unto you, beloved in Christ. Urgent signs that you should undergo a fast. Sign number one, when your appetite for food is taken away. Now each time you begin to experience this sign, it means God is literally telling you to undergo a fast. Each time you wake up in the morning and you begin to experience that desire that I don't feel like eating, know that it is one of the signs that the Holy Spirit wants you to undergo a fast. And now sometimes when you become ignorant to that and you eat, either within that day or after some days, you come across or you experience something very tragic. And now this particular sign, sometimes what happens is that the Holy Spirit can take away your appetite for days. He will urge you to undergo a fast early in the morning. This thing can go on for some days. And most often, each time this section of this fast ends, you are able to overcome a particular situation which came in your way. So know that each time your appetite is taken away, Anytime you wake up in the morning, then the Holy Spirit is desiring of you that you should undergo a fast. Sign number two, concurrent and repetitive shielding of the members of your body to the desires of the flesh. Each time the members of your body begin to yield to the desires of the flesh, know that you need to undergo an urgent fast. One of the things you should understand here about fast is that each time a person fasts, Fasting disconnects you from the flesh and connects you to the throne of grace. And also another thing you should know is that fasting will always subdue the flesh. Because the first Adam in the book of Genesis fell to sin by reason of food. And the second Adam, which was Jesus Christ, was able to overcome the desires of the flesh through fasting. The scripture says, after when he has fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, he was driven of the spirit into the wilderness. And there the tempter, which is Satan, came to tempt him with food. But the scripture says, he didn't yield his members to that. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Sign number three, sudden and strange occurrences. Anytime you begin to experience sudden and strange occurrences in your life, though you've been praying always and you've been reading the word, and you've aligned yourself to the ways of God, but yet still you begin to experience strange negative occurrences, most especially in your dreams, or suddenly you come to the realization that all doors are being shut, then there is an urgency for you to undergo a fast. Because the moment that occurrence is taking place, it is giving you a clue that you need an extra strength to add up to your prayer life and to the studying of the word in order to overcome that particular thing. So anytime you begin to experience this, there is an urgency for you to undergo a fast. And you realize that the moment the fasting period ends, you gain an extra strength to overcome those forces behind that. In the book of First Kings chapter 17, 18 and 19, after when the national prophet, which was Elijah the Tishbite, has sensed a shift in the spirit, the scripture says that urgency came that he needed to undergo a fast 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. And after that particular fast, when he came back, that shift and that threatening from Jezebel ceased. After his return from that fasting journey, we didn't hear any threatening from Jezebel again. Why? Because after that occurrence, he gained extra strength to overcome that shift and that strange move in the realms of the spirit. Sign number four, wane in the glory of God. Each time you sense a wane in the glory of the Lord upon your life, there is an urgency for you to undergo a fast. The scripture says Paul was subject to fastings. That is why we see Paul operated in a very strange glory of the living God. Very strange. The same way applies to Peter. So his shadow was even able to heal the sick. So anytime you sense that the glory of God upon your life has waned, there is an urgency for you to undergo a fast as a child of the living God. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Sign number five. When you realize a delay in the promises of God concerning your life, 
anytime you begin to sense or anytime you realize a delay of the promises of god upon your life then there is an urgency for you to undergo a fast in the book of daniel the moment daniel understood by the books that the israelites are supposed to be in babylon for 70 years daniel needed to undergo a fast so each time you come to the realization that a particular prophecy of god upon your life the time has elapsed then there is an agency for you to undergo a fast sign number six sensing of the judgment of god anytime you sense the judgment of god coming your way there is an agency for you to undergo a fast in the book of first kings chapter 21 and verse 27 now the scripture says after when the prophet elijah had delivered the message of the lord unto ahab the king the scripture says he torn his clothes and put on a sackcloth and prayed and afflicted himself before the living god so one thing also which you know is that fasting is a sign of you afflicting yourself before the lord the scripture says after when ahab had fasted had undergone this process the word of the lord came unto him again and said to him that this particular judgment which he was bringing upon him he is going to keep that judgment from him but he will take it to his children so the moment he have sent the judgment of god that agency of fast came and in the book of second samuel chapter 2 of the verse 15 the scripture says after when the lord through the prophet nathan had come to rebuke david of his action because david took uriah's wife Bathsheba. And the scripture says the wife actually conceived and brought forth but the judgment of the lord which came upon david was that the child was going to die so the scripture says the lord struck the child the scripture says the moment david realized that the judgment of god had come upon the child he fasted so that agency came the moment david sensed the judgment of god he realized that this is the time for me to undergo a fast and i pray for you in the name of the lord jesus that started from today and beyond may the holy spirit help you to yield your members and every part of you to the urgency of fast on every side by the power of the holy ghost and so shall it be in the name of the lord jesus may the living god bless you beloved christ and please do what you like this video and share it to other people in the faith as well peace shalom